Hey, what's going on everybody? As my shirt would suggest, we are doing a product review of MTS Swole. It is a brand new product to MTS and one that I think is gonna be a vital, vital part to your guys' new stack. Now I have it right here. It's only been out since Monday. MTS Swole right there. Protein amplifier, post-workout amplifier, and protein synthesis enhancer. Now, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this, although the ingredient list is very small, only four things. It is going to dramatically improve your fitness prowess and your progression by making your diet that much better. As you guys know, nutrition is king, and products that MTS makes like Nutrient Driver and their machine fuel aminos go to help supplement your already good diet and things like that MTS nutrition driver and the Swoli only enhance your guys' good nutrition. Now we're gonna talk about what's in it, we're gonna talk about why it works and why I think you guys should use it. I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how I take it. Now MTS Swoli is a post-workout enhancer but it doesn't just do one thing, it doesn't just make you better. It's going to do a bunch of different things. I'm gonna read it right off the Tiger Fitness website so we get none of this incorrect and you guys have the best information possible. Let's go right down the list. It increases your amino acids by 100%. That is huge. If you're taking machine fuel, if you're not into MTS already and you're taking aminos, for the most part, aminos are pretty much worldwide known. Everyone takes aminos in some form, although MTS makes the best aminos, but I'm a little biased. It's gonna double the power of your protein by enhancing two times your protein synthesis. Now what that means is as you're in the gym, breaking down those muscle fibers, getting that good training in, all of that has to be repaired. Protein synthesis is that production not only to repair damaged muscles, aka like a muscle tear, but in that self tear with you guys weight training, it's going to help build that. Now muscles come back bigger, stronger, and more dense as you guys can fully imagine. That's why strength training works. This is going to double your body's ability to protein synthesize. Sure, it's going to increase that protein synthesis by two times the amount. That is huge. That means for each rep that you do, you're getting that much more out of it. It's going to increase your BCAA, glutamine, and arginine levels by 250%. That is huge. The more your body has in its bloodstream to do things, the better, which is why if you've ever been absolutely dehydrated or if you've done a fast or a no carb anything, if you don't have those carbohydrates in your blood, if you don't have those electrolytes, your body just can't function. Homeostasis has to be completely brought out by being total and whole nutrition. So if this can increase your body's ability by 250% with all those aminos, it's gonna make you that much better. Increase nitrogen retention by 32%, that's huge. A lot of people take illicit substances to work on their nitrogen level, and this can be done the natural way and you don't have to worry about it. Increase that protein absorption and reducing the protein excretion. So obviously, your body works on a principle of you either use it or you lose it. If you pound four gallons of water, you're gonna pee every 13.2 seconds and get rid of it. Your body only has so much bioavailability to use whatever it is. And the bad part with proteins and carbs and fats is if you can't use it, you don't just lose it, you store it. Because the human body thinks you're in, it thinks we're in the woods right now. We're trying to survive. So if I eat 5,000 calories over my daily allotted sort of maintenance load, it's just gonna store it because it, it thinks it needs to hibernate because humans are incredibly complex but very dumb in the same retrospect. So if you don't burn it, it's gonna store it. So this MTS Swoli is gonna help not only that protein synthesis, increase nitrogen level, but it's also gonna help with that protein uptake to make it actually be absorbed and not stored, which means for all that protein you're eating, you're actually using more of it, increasing the bioavailability, and less likely to store it. Let's go over the ingredients in here. It's gonna use chromium, eleusine, velocitol, and aminogen. Now, if you wanna know more about any of these, the great thing on the Tiger Fitness website, even Mark Lobliner's uh, YouTube channel, he goes really in depth to all these. And of course, Google. Google what these ingredients are. If you don't know exactly what you're taking, which is always why I say brand loyalty is huge. If you're mixing 15 different brands from different supplements for an amino here and a protein here and something here, you're doing so much research to see what one company's purity and potency is and what the other one is and you could be double dipping on creatine here and taking 40 grams of aminos because they have it in their protein, their pre-workout, their post-workout. 
look up on Google what the ingredients are to make sure you're not going crazy overboard. And the nice thing is, none of these are proprietary blend. That's gonna be hard to see. I'm just gonna put it right here. There's no such thing as a proprietary blend in any MTS nutrition product because they want you to know what's in it. They, no one's going to steal the recipe it's protected, but they want you guys to have the faith in them that they're not hiding something using a proprietary blend to just pad their ingredient with some low cost, cheap product and then put a little bit of that stuff when they go, this is that small little ingredient on top. They tell you exactly what's in here. Now, how do I take this? I split dose this. The one good thing, and I probably should have mentioned it earlier, is there's been products like this that haven't succeeded nearly, nearly as well. Things like um, Isatory BioGrow. If you haven't tried that, go for it. I'm gonna tell you it tastes like the worst supplement in the history of supplements. And I know a lot of people would agree with that. I got the unflavored one of that when it first came out and also the orange cream one. I think I actually did a product review. It is the worst possible tasting thing. I've tried to mix it with orange juice. I've tried to just straight scoop it. It is disgusting. The nice thing about the MTS Swoli is it kind of tastes like Vietnamese rice candy. And I'll put a picture of them up right here so I don't look like a crazy person. It kind of tastes like rice milk, which is, which is weird, but it's actually good tasting. It's got a subtle sweetness to it. It doesn't really taste like much of anything. I just straight scoop it right after my workout because I'm about to eat a huge breakfast and then I take it at night with my sort of like bedtime carb thing. That way I get the entire day with all of those nutrients being better absorbed better increase protein synthesis. I take it at night because that is when your body is repairing all of it. You're shutting down, you're actually resting, you're stop moving, your body's gonna start repairing all that stuff that hopefully you guys tore up in the gym the day before and then throughout that whole week, functions are still being repaired. So I take it in the morning to kind of help with that absorption of protein and everything being kind of clicked into place and not stored because you don't want body fat if that's the game you're going for. If you're trying to bulk, you can still use this effectively, but I also take it at night again so that I get that better recovery and I can get that much better training value that next morning. Overall, I'd have to give this a nine out of 10. I'm really, really interested in seeing if they go with flavors with this. I don't know what flavors you could do with it. Please don't do orange cream because that was the worst thing I've ever had in my entire life. But I'm really excited to see where they go with this. Your guys' input is huge. The reason why they came out with the Rainbow Candy Vasky, the reason why they came out with the Grape Clash is because people put awesome comments in there saying, hey, we like the flavors, we like orange sherbet, we like this. Can you guys do something different? And then they came out with Rainbow Candy Vasky, which is literally the best thing in the entire supplement industry. It's Skittles flavored pump inducer. It's crazy. I think we've done a video on it. I can't remember. But I'm really interested to see. If you guys wanna know more about this, ask me in the comments section. Take a look at the Tiger Fitness website. The link, as always, and you guys could imagine, will be in the description below. Smash the link for it. Get this added to your stack or at least take a look at maybe different elements you could add to your stack although i think this alongside nutrient driver would be a really really good stack addition thanks for watching everybody again comments questions concerns down in the comment section below thanks for watching hopefully you guys today's gone well and you've got out there crush your guys's goals take it easy